Okay, it's that time again. It's that moment you've been waiting for, and it has arrived. Here she is, that beautiful woman, with that beautiful landscape behind her, with her beautiful husband, no, never mind. Here she is, Suzanne Summers. Yay! <laughs> with my beautiful husband and my beautiful daughter-in-law, who's the president of our company, yeah. And I am having my new daily treat. I love it this time of the day. Gut Renew yep. Coffee Smoothie. Yep. And I'll, I'll talk about the recipe tonight. It's in the, it's in the guide. Mm. You're actually going to make that on Monday show. Okay. It's so refreshing. And on top of it, you know you're getting the gut renew in there. You're getting a little pick-me-up with the coffee. It's pretty great. What you doing, Al? Well, I was just looking at you know, the gut renew tag. Uh-huh. And I, I don't know why I'm just fascinated by all the ingredients in here. It goes on forever. And you realize why this has been so successful. Uh, if I were to read all the ingredients in here, I'm not kidding, it would take me a good... But it would be sort of... 10 minutes. Boring. Yeah, okay. But uh, some of them are uh, four organic plant-based proteins. It. It's everything you didn't eat today. It's got prebiotic and probiotic and uh, everything good. Everything good. There are probably, that. I'm not exaggerating, 50 to 60, maybe more mm -hmm. organic ingredients in here. Yeah, there okay? are. I know. It's incredible. I know. I, I, just, I just finished doing an hour-long radio show. And it was interesting how one thing fed to another. And the guy was provocative, he asked very thought-provoking questions. And we ended up on Gut Renew. And I wasn't even on the show like to like push it and sell it. And um, ended up saying, I'll send you a couple. He said, I really like it. He said, the taste is good, as you say. I'd like to have it every day for the rest of my life. I said, well, that's what we do. We have it every day. And I, I can't imagine ever not having it. But now, Getting the second one in every day with the coffee. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have uh, Shul Cheryl. Hi, Suzanne and Ellen from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Oh, so many Canadians. Hello. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Canadian ladies. I'll bet, I'll bet, I'll bet uh, they're not having this kind of weather in Saskatoon today. Probably not. But you know? When it's nice there, it's but they will nice. have. This I is, happen to love the winter in Canada. I know you do. That's because you're only there for two or three days. No, at I time. did a movie, a whole movie in this know. weather, than your weather. I know. And it, it, I actually liked it, except that the movie ostensibly took place in the spring. So I'd be all padded up in, in uh, you know, puffer jackets and uh, puffer boots and everything. And then when we do the scene, I'd have to take off all the warm winter clothes and be in a spring dress that took acting to walk down this they changed the light so it looked like a beautiful spring day and i walked down like oh what a beautiful spring day it was probably 30 below it was so cold wow. um hey quick update i know um we promised you the recipes from last night so yeah. they are up so we posted them on suzanne's story um, so if you go to her story, you can click through to the website where you'll see them posted. Um, or if you go to SuzanneSummers.com, on the navigation bar at the top, you're going to click on Explore and then Recipes. And that's where you can find all of Suzanne's recipes on the website. Um, we will post another link tomorrow on her actual feed, but we had so much going on today with the show happening. Yep. So we, we didn't want to post um, to have it interfere with today's very exciting day, which is the launch of the March Suzanne Selects box. The so box. That's what we're talking about today. The box. I love the box. The box started because I realized that we women like to get presents in the mail, even if we pay for them ourselves. And so once a month, this box will come to you, but you don't have to sign up for it. You can sign up for it to get it, but if you decide, I only want it once, you only get it once. If you want it two, three months in a row, and then thought, oh, I've got enough of this, then you can stop it. So but, it's no obligation, but you'll like getting the box every month. Well, here's, <laughs> here's the deal. Yeah. These are all full-size uh, bottles of stuff, okay? They're not samples. <coughs> And today, for example, the retail value is $145. That's pretty great. It's 65% off because all you're paying is 
Okay? Why are we doing this? We're taking the hit on this. Why are we doing it? Because we know once you try these organic, beautiful products, yeah. you'll be with us forever. Why would you go back to the chemical stuff that you're going to rub on or put in your hair next to your brain? Why would you do that? I wish okay? I could take you into my shower, into Alan's shower. This is what's in there. I wouldn't dream of using the shampoos and conditioners I used to use. Because it dawned on me one day, I'm in the steam, and the steam opens all the pores on your head, and your brain's right here, right? And I pick up this shampoo that was expensive, like 75 bucks a bottle, and I'm shampooing it in, and I thought, this is nuts. The pores are open, my brain's here, I'm putting chemicals right into my brain, not like near it, right into it. And then the same thing with the conditioner, and this, this took a long time. Because when you buy organic shampoo at the drugstore, it's pretty lousy. And I, I kept buying it in different brands and different brands and they didn't suds up and you didn't feel like you got your hair clean and it was sort of limp, you know. This, after many, many, many tries, we got it. The, the shampoo has the slip and the conditioner has the slip and then we've got the volumizing elixir which supports healthy hair growth. I put a little that on every day, and then we've got the finishing gloss for flyaways, and I've got some flyaways today, so I'll stick them. I'll stick some on there. But anyway, um, it's a great box, so just get in and get it now. You'll be so happy. You yeah, have it. If, you guys, if you guys are new to Suzanne Selects, this is Suzanne's monthly subscription box, and you go to SuzanneSummers.com. You sign up for Suzanne Selects, and you can you can receive this. Once a month, you can receive it every two months or every three months. So you decide. It's always going to be forty nine ninety nine, and it will always be worth at least one hundred and twenty dollars. So it's our biggest discount. It's always our biggest discount. And as Alan said, you know we want to send you these products basically at our cost so that you can try them. And we know when you like them, you'll reorder. So this is our incredible deal. And today, Suzanne has the fa fa boom. Hair kit, so she's going to tell us what's in the box. Yeah, we want to get you hooked on it. <laughs> 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 to tell you the truth. <laughs> I got one more sitcom in me, I think. At least one more. Yeah. We could use more sitcoms back in the world. I know, I know. Romantic comedies and sitcoms. I we know. We need like, some light entertainment to balance. I know, everything's so Just, heavy. And 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 um, uh, artificial, like artificial characters. Yeah. 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 So, but I don't think I'll do it. When when the alarm goes off and I have to get up at five thirty in the morning and jump up and get in the car and get to the studio, I did that for seventeen years, plus 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 all the years on the road. I think. I'm at a stage where I kind of like what I'm doing right now. Me and Al, we wake up, he gets the coffee, he brings it to me in bed. We watch the morning programs, we work on our iPads. I do my face master every morning. It's kind of nice. We don't get out of bed till what, like 10? 9, 10? Well, there <laughs> well I, have, I have physical therapy twice a week, so that's yeah. eight. Yeah. And then you'll have to go all the way into the room next door I know. to do your show and turn on I one know. switch and make all your lights go yeah. I know. It's it's a lot. <laughs> I know. But there are, there are times like when you say to me, let's spend the weekend in bed, mm -hmm. okay? And I, I love doing that. Because I do too. I don't the only, feel guilty the only, at all. The only reason we leave is I, it's usually me. I run into the kitchen and get some food and bring it back. Okay, yeah, and then that's we in the morning. Eat. I usually get food the rest of the day. Yeah, that's great. We fetch for each other. Most people, most people can't do that. They that meal can't. we had last night, starting with my cauliflower soup, a, a, a girl oh, that, that was good. so good, and the girl by the name of Kathy. I only saw one comment this morning after you posted it, Caroline, and she said, "Can you give me the recipe for your stock so I don't have to use box chicken stock?" So I said to Caroline, "Let her know that I'll talk about it tonight." When you make your roast chicken, I, I suggest you make a roast chicken every week. You have roast chicken dinner, and then you cut all the extra meat off that you didn't eat in the roast chicken dinner, and that's what you make chicken salad with, or you make the hot chicken sandwiches with the sauce and all that. But I take all the bones, 
and put it in a, a pot, a Dutch oven, and then all week long, when I cut an onion, you know, you usually throw the tops away, I put it in a plastic bag. You cut a leek, and you get rid of the green things on the top, I wash it and put it in a plastic bag. Any vegetables that look like they're, nah, 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 I'm not gonna cook them, I don't throw them out, I put them in a the plastic bag. And then the night that I'm putting the hole with the chicken bones and, and um, celery, the, the top of the celery that you're probably gonna get rid of, you take that, plus you take the bottom and wash that and put that in. Anything you find. I, even the other night I put two, two small whole onions in. They, they melt while they cook. In the morning when you get up, fill it with water, a handful of salt, a handful of black peppercorns, uh, mush it around a little bit, turn the heat on, bring it up to a boil, and then turn it down to simmer for the day. By the way, your house smells divine, divine. And at the end of the day, you take this incredible rich stock that's different every time because of the vegetables and the combination, and you pour it in a colander in a bowl, and then, you know, rinse it off and let all the juice come out. And then you take a masher in all the vegetables in the colander, and you mash it and mash it and mash it and mash it and get every bit of flavor and every bit of juice out of it, let it fall into the stock, and then you bottle it up and put it in the refrigerator. Then when you go to make a sauce or a gravy or a soup, like a cauliflower soup, it's already fantastic because of the because of the stock. So if you're not doing that, I highly recommend you do it. I taught my son that when he went to college. I said, I want you to buy a whole chicken every Sunday, and I told him this whole thing, and he would call me and say things to me like, Ma, you should taste my stock. <laughs> and then he marries Caroline, who's the world's greatest cook, so he's just never not been with great food. He's a great cook, too. You taught him well. He is. He, he, yeah. He's uh, got his style, like Alan's got his style, so we like to eat, and I, I had a long talk today on the radio about um, the difference between um, health and not good health. You know, you can do everything right, and you can still, the, the big fist can hit you. It's just the way the world is today, what's in the air, what's, what's in the restaurant foods you had. But if you generally think about the food that you eat every single day, and if you generally go to the store and buy organic food, and if you generally, when you go to a restaurant, ask first if they have anything, anything organic, and, and choose that over the other. You'll be so far ahead of the game. And uh, I have so many people my age who have aches and pains and no energy, and they're shuffling, and they're stooped over, and it doesn't have to be that way. And what I was talking to this guy on the radio today, who likes you so much, Alan. Did I you know. know he was Canadian? I did, yeah. Well, we used, to, we used to date. I know you didn't. No, you didn't. The guy. <laughs> oh. Did you? <laughs> I don't care. Well. And um, I, I said, you know, these are the choices that we make every day. And I tell you all this all the time. When you go to bed at night, in the dark, make an imaginary list with an imaginary line down the middle of, of the list. And then think of all the choices you made all day long, good and bad. On this side, that's, those are the choices that lead you away from good health, and on this side are the choices you, that lead you toward longevity and good health. You'll be amazed how many bad choices you make. So the more you become conscious, and the more that you take this message that I'm putting out here, that our company is putting out, the, the more you'll find yourself on the good column. And uh, that good column is a predictor of, of your uh, good health, even if you were to get sick that you would fight it better and, and have a better uh, immune system. So it really makes a difference, it really helps, and the sleep you get really helps. I've learned something. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night? So I take um, our, our melatonin uh, time release, that really is great. But there are some nights when we actually go to bed too early. We don't mean to go to bed too early, we, uh, we go to bed. You think six o'clock is too early? You. Fell asleep the other night at 6.30. 6 I love doing that. I love doing 6 that. 6.30. It's great. I you love doing that. You eat dinner, you need three hours to let it all fall down and not, like, otherwise you'd lie in bed. And you know what? You were restless that night. So, um... But food wasn't the reason why. <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought. It was about sleep. Sleep is... 
if you don't sleep, it accelerates aging, and it accelerates, uh, you know, a, a, a degraded immune system. But when you wake up in the morning and you've slept eight hours, it's blessed. But I find now when I uh, do wake up, because maybe I went to bed too early or whatever, and I don't want to be up. Maybe it's like 4.30 in the morning, I don't want to be up yet. I'm now starting, because I always tell you that your brain believes everything you tell it. I lie there and I don't say I want to go to sleep. I say to my brain, I am sleeping. I am sleeping. I am sleeping. And I don't know how long I do that because the next thing I know is four or five hours later I've, I've awakened and I realize I was sleeping. So, try it. Well, here's the thing. Suzanne has so much incredible knowledge. She gets so excited about all the different categories that she can talk about. But today, you guys are clamoring. They're like, oh my God, this is all great. Suzanne, please don't sense in the box. Okay. <laughs> so if you could go through one by one, and Alan, if you could hold okay. each product up to camera, because you have some eager fans out there wanting to know what's in the Suzanne Selects box for merch. We have the Volumizing Shampoo Wild Orange Mint. And, oh, God, uh, that is great. This is what I use. I love this, love this, love this. Okay. And you know, Suzanne, um, if you're new to Suzanne Organics, you might not know that Suzanne doesn't use any pegs, she doesn't use any parabens, she doesn't use any um, sodium oral sulfate, which is a chemical sensing agent that is in almost all conventional shampoos, body wash, hand wash, dishwashing liquid, all those things. She doesn't use that, she stopped using it probably 15 years ago, she was one of the early adopters in finding another sudsing solution that's not done with chemicals. This happens to be with cocoa, coconut cleansers. And that's the volumizing um, conditioner. Or bon de melon <laughs> volume. And here is the volumizing hair elixir, which supports healthy hair growth. You know. Pretty cool. Why is it? So when do you use the elixir in your... Okay, I, I wash it, condition it, towel dry it, and then before I do the uh, activating serum or the finishing, finishing gloss is the very last thing, before I do the activating serum, which you already have, it's not in the box today, that's when I spray it all over my head and then I massage it into my scalp. And my scalp goes... This is right at the root, guys. You just use this right at the root on the scalp and massage it right into your um, into your scalp. And it has some wonderful um, organic botanical ingredients that help promote a healthy mm -hmm. scalp, which is where if you're looking for volume, it starts right at the root. And this is the finishing gloss, which I have some flyaways today, so I will demonstrate on my hair what the finishing gloss does. You know, uh, nature has a sense of humor. Why is that? Why, why is it, okay, that as you age, yeah. you lose hair where you want it and you grow hair where you don't want it? Okay, why is that? I don't know, Al. Why is that? I have other you're questions. You're older than I am, so you're wiser. I have, what do you think? I have other questions from nature. Uh -huh. Okay, other questions. Like what? Well, let's see. What's another question? Okay. Why is it that... At a certain age, usually, usually used to be between fifty and sixty. Yeah. Now it's it's earlier, usually between thirty-five and fifty. Right. Women go into perimenopause, then menopause, yes. and once they're in menopause, they always have. Although it's when, a little earlier. Once now. It, yeah, it's earlier now. Once they go into menopause, they have no more eggs, right? Right. They can't conceive. They can't get pregnant. Egglessness. And yet, guys, guys are capable of. Yeah. Why? Until the day they die. Yeah, you can make babies. That's right. Well, maybe that's biology. Maybe that's Well, why? I know, but I'd like to know why. Okay? There must be an answer to this question. I'd like to know I think why. I know the answer. Well, I would like to know why it's mostly women's responsibility for birth control. We can only yeah. get pregnant like one or two days of each month when men can shoot like millions of, <laughs> of potential sperm babies every day of the year for their yeah. entire lives. But somehow it's the women's responsibility. Yeah. Really, when you think about the whole thing, nature thought it out perfectly. Um, we, it's all about perpetuation of the species. We are fertile till about 40, 45. And you know, in the animal kingdom, when a woman stops uh, producing eggs, or you know, not a animals, woman, an animal. 
What did I say? A woman. Oh, oh, female animal. Uh, they slow down, and then they get eaten, and that's the way nature took care of it. You're not gonna, you're not valuable anymore. So the reality of biology is that once we can't make babies anymore, we're actually not all that valuable because the, 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 to keep the world going, it's perpetuation of the species. And the men, who knows why you guys can just shoot. Absolutely. Shoot, shoot. Uh, yeah. yeah, but maybe. Real, real bullets. Hey, hey, I was going to let you know, um, some people have been asking for the retail prices on these products. If you were to buy these products individually, the shampoo, the volumizing shampoo, is thirty four ninety nine just on its own. That's for a 24 ounce bottle of shampoo. Um, and you don't need a lot of it. It does come with the pumps in the box, just so you know. The volumizing conditioner, also $34.99. Now, the whole box is going to cost you $50 today. So, if you think about that, 65 percent off. And in your conditioner, and in the mail comes your present. You get a present from your friend Suzanne with shampoo, conditioner, um, the volumizing hair elixir, and finishing gloss. And, yeah, and the hair elixir is thirty nine ninety nine on its own. Wow. And, wow. And how much is the box? Uh, and lastly, the the finishing gloss is thirty four ninety nine. Wow. So it's 65% off retail. A lot of you are asking, how do I jump in? How do I get this? Go to SuzanneSummers.com. It's right on the homepage. You click on Suzanne Selects. And then it's we make it really simple for you to manage your account. Let's say you know it comes every month and you're like, ah, I'm tight this month. I can't do it. You just put it on pause. You can do it yourself or you can call one of our representatives during business hours and they'll pause it for you. We make it really easy. Or if you say, I need to cancel right now. We'll cancel it for you. So it's fair. we make it really easy to manage your account. Yeah. Or maybe you're someone who gets it every other month and you see today's box, like the bathroom hair kit, and you were like, oh, damn, i got to have that box. Just let us know. We'll just add you for this month and we'll bill you. You get it the same time every month. So if you order on the 15th of the month, we will initiate that order the next month, also on the 15th. I think it's best to get it earlier in the month so that you don't have to wait so long. But... And you're probably just saying to yourself, you know, I'm kind of low on shampoo. I should get this because I'm getting it at such a good price. Today's a great day to stock up on your shampoo. And what a great gift, right? you got to get a gift for Sal, right? And you, you'd spend more than this if you went to the store. Everything's so expensive now. What a great gift and what a great price. So get one for yourself, get one for your daughter, get one for your girlfriend. And we're trying real hard to keep our prices where they are right now. Yep. Because, you know, they say inflation is, I think, what, officially 8%. Eight, eight, eight percent. It's more than that, okay? A, a gallon of gas in California, there are some oh, stations so charge $6.50 yeah. for a gallon of gasoline. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's nuts. So the fact that we're able to give you this kind of a discount today, um, 65% off the retail price. And if you're going to have to wash your hair. Know, like, you know, we'll do 25% off, or we might give you a free gift, but 65% off. This is a smoking good deal. Okay, so. You're going to have to wash your hair and condition your hair. You're going to. So you get this whole set here, and it's great it's not good it's great it is it and is. it's all got all of it has got the little insignia um very stringent guidelines certified toxic free and do you want to show them certainly which means it has to be grown organically extracted organically and nothing upwind or downwind of the product can be toxic to contaminate it not easy to uh, uh achieve that but we do and so we're really proud of our there products. There it is right there. Made in America. Made in America. Yeah, we source ingredients from around the globe right. because, you know, if you've heard Suzanne, you've heard her talk about some of the unbelievable active <clears throat> ingredients that she puts in her products. Like, where else are you going to find kapua soup in your finishing Do you have any at home, kapua soup? You no, know, it's in the rainforest. Or so obsidian? Don't have it at home. Yeah. But, but then we get it all here and then we make it here and manufacture it here and send it out of America. We send. Oh, there was just a roadrunner that ran behind you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, we have a lot of them here. Little babies. Oh, how cute. They're looking for snakes. There are no snakes here. Right, because we have a bunch of roadrunners. So many roadrunners. I haven't yeah. seen one snake. We're in the desert. I haven't seen one since we moved here. 
And we've been here, what, three, four months? Four uh, let's see. There, October, November, December, January, February. No, we've been here. We're, this is our seventh month. No, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Time In our new house, they say it was supposed to be about now. That's never when they say it's going to be finished. They say at the outside, repeated three times, at the outside will be August. So, August, we get to move into our new house. Although, it'll probably take us a month to move in, so we'll probably stay here through August and September, and then we'll move in gradually. So, Laura, I want to go through the trauma of right. when we went through moving out of the other house. Lori, L Laura Lee says, My husband told me to tell you guys that you are the best with your great deals. Thank you. <laughs> great. Thank yeah. you. Oh, that's nice. The other thing about Suzanne's products, you know, because she doesn't use a bunch of cheap chemical fillers, they're concentrated. So she's giving you like a good amount of the active ingredients that they help, you know, her, her shampoos and conditioners and her finishing glasses and so, you know, it helps repair split ends. It's making your hair stronger and healthier. She uses quinoa for protein. She uses vitamin B12. All these things that are nurturing and good for your hair. It and and when, we started, when we started using quinoa in the shampoo, that's when we got suds. It's like this amazing thing. We never had suds before. And that was like the trial and error, trial and error. And when I used... Yeah, that and the coconut cleansers. And the coconut, the coconut cleansers. cleansers and the quinoa. And if you're looking for that quinoa recipe that we made last night, it's <laughs> also posted. Yeah. We'll post it again tomorrow. So I'm so excited. Tomorrow. I have so much great food in our refrigerator. We're going out for dinner tonight, and I'm disappointed we're going out because I want the chicken, but I'll have that tomorrow night that we... Uh, Caroline made last night with the quinoa, but we've also got Alan's cabbage rolls, and we've got to eat them this weekend. Okay. Oh, they give you gas. Okay. They, what, you what's the, good, what's you the cabbage? Good leftovers in there. I've I got wish I brought home some of that soup. I wish you had too. I meant to do that. It was suddenly over, and then. Oh, that's your that's your leftover. Yeah. I'm going to make my cabbage rolls again one day, and then we'll video we'll video. How I make them, okay? Okay, you know, I'm, we didn't like it because of... Well, I, we, yeah, but I'm really good at it, okay? You are. I'm really good at it. You are. I've You're done it all my Polish life, stuff. okay? Right, my Polish mother and my yeah. Polish girlfriend, between the two of them, I made great cabbage okay. rolls. <laughs> Did you make um, cabbage rolls with your Polish girlfriend? Of course. What was her name? Wanda. Wanda. Oh, yeah. that's, I, I, that's she, the one I keep thinking that I met. Yeah, you, well, you did, but you didn't meet her in Toronto. You met her in Detroit. In the dressing room uh, uh, after my show, right? Yeah, in Detroit. Yeah. 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 She, I liked her. She was a good girl. I so, remember her. Um, Lori Lee 1043 said, my husband started using the products because he wants to look as great as Al. I wonder <laughs> if it will make him a scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It, oh. it wears off. If Alan is giving permission to all the, all the guys to be rascals. Okay, so Katie Katie Bell says, Al, I would like to see you make your hot dogs. I'd be happy to yeah. do that. That you do it on a dime's okay. notice. Yeah. Do I come over and show them how cute you are? Well, I don't know how cute I am, no, but so I'll come cute. over. Okay. With your cute sweater. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Come here, cutie. Okay. So... You know, he dropped my gallbladder, <laughs> my stomach, <laughs> my colon. You know, he dropped all my inner organs. This is a this is an old girlfriend. Okay. Uh, Whoops. Here he is, bad boy well, out. Help, help. He just just lost her chest. <laughs> he all her organs. Could you hang on to that? This is okay. my most prized possession. I know. This is what you look like on the inside. All right. This is not funny, Al. <laughs> this is you're, not why I invited you over here. <laughs> Can you pick up my gallbladder? Yeah, pick up the stomach and the gallbladder okay, and I'll the liver. Okay. And, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the stomach. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I promise I'll do that. And, and okay. Here. Do I have to do that? <laughs> Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? Okay. Bad right. boy. Okay, now pick up the stomach and it's in two pieces. Okay. There you go. Here you go. <laughs> here's the liver. This would be over here. Wow. You want to have liver tonight? <laughs> and here's the liver. Okay. And the liver would be here. 
Now, what, what the hell is this? This is like your colon. Oh, thank and I, God. I, it, it, I can't show them that because I've got to get the rest of the colon, and I don't want oh. it. I don't want it. This All right, but here's like where your liver is, today. here, if you can see it. And here's where your stuff. That's not... You know what's interesting? What? You think your stomach's so huge, and when you're all bloated, and it gets huge, but this is the size of your stomach. This wow. is the size of your stomach. Wow. What's really huge are the uh, mile of, of intestines. That's what everybody thinks is their stomach. So when, when... Why don't I feel full when I eat? Because that is not that big. No, but because it's supposed to come down through the gastric sphincter, take a left-hand turn into your stomach right here, releases the hydrochloric acid if you don't make it you add it and then it takes a right hand turn into the intestines now it's in the intestines and now you're getting full because if you didn't chew your food and you're eating too fast it gets all stuck here right around it up here in the uh, top of the abdomen you ever had that oh, yeah. i'm writing a book right now about the gut i really got started today and i'm uh, so fascinated by how it all works i can't wait to like I've talked to you about it a lot, but I'm now really into it. Can you take my chest So now you know what our pillow talk is like. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I became this person. Take the liver and take the, stump, the stomach okay. and put it on the chair. Okay. It shouldn't just lie around anywhere. Okay. Okay, I have to go back to my, right, real, my real job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and here's the um, sweater you had on last night. And Caroline said you had muffles, but I swear... The moths didn't have their, their way. They may have pulled a little bit. They were no made holes. by Gloria. Well, your, your colors look good together. Yeah. The yellow and the green look yeah. good together. Yeah. It is your, it's your logo. Yeah. It's the Suzanne Organics with the green leaf logo. There yeah, we go. That's right. With our, with our so Suzanne they, Select box. People who are, have joined late, it is the March reveal of the Suzanne Select box. It right? is. It's right. the uh, Bonhomme hair kit. Um, you have four... Amazing shampoo in the box. Shampoo with the um, wild orange mint and the conditioner wild orange mint I use and that the volumizing hair elixir, which supports healthy hair you growth. Don't want hair like mine. And here is the finishing gloss to take away any flyaways, which I just did. Okay, I have to go back to my job. Gloss, okay. yeah. Move my body over there, though. That's. So Bobby Molina says, please move the box. Where do you want to move nope. it to? Nope. What do you want to see? Well, other, people, other people said, we're so happy to have the products in front of you again. Thank you. Okay. I, uh, from time to time, Bobby Molina, I'll move it out. So you can see what it is you want to see. Probably you want to see the back one, the backdrop there. <laughs> Another thing to think about that if you're thinking of gifts after you get this gift is the thigh master wow that thing just never stops it doesn't no it, it i do the thigh master three times a day 50 times each 150 thigh masters and there are sometimes at night when i get to 30 and then i think i can do 20 more by the time i get to 50 my inner thighs go she actually she actually could break my femur with those thighs. <laughs> okay, that's I stay away I tell from you, it. Gives you, it gives I you stay away. to have nice legs longer with the thigh master. I'm just saying. So, but also, it's I a great, it, it's I a great it, upper body. I use it for the upper body. Yeah. Yeah. What was that thing uh, that girls used to do when they were exercising their we upper? Must. We must. We must develop our busts. That's it. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah, you were you were bony Mahoney, and then one summer, all of a sudden, and everybody 
spread rumors about me that I wore falsies and I didn't. No, I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> Falsies. I was a you know, late bloomer, but when they came, they came that summer, all in one summer. You know, uh, I, puberty is so cruel. It's cruel, and I was the last. It's on display in front of everyone. Oh, I know. And I was the last one to get my period, so everybody made fun of me. And then when I finally got my period, there was a bitchy girl in my class who said she doesn't really have a period; she uses ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking of falsies, yeah. So I, you know, I, I I produced this comedy special for ABC many years ago. Yeah. And the the art director I hired uh, was actually a, a neighbor of mine in Venice, and he was he was really a far out kind of guy. That's why I hired him. And uh, when you walked into his house, he had a little house off the beach. You had to take your shoes off. Why? Because he had covered the entire floor with falsies. Okay? So when you walked oh, in... I never heard this one. Yeah, when you walked in, oh. you were walking on falsies. Oh, and God. And the, oh. the doorknob for his front door was a penis. Oh, I don't like this guy. No, no, you would like he's him. Icky. No, he, he's icky. No, he's... He was, you would no. never do that. That's I would, not your no, style. No, I all. wouldn't do that. Although the first... Oh, I'm so ashamed to say this, but I wrote about it in Keeping Secrets. And don't think less of me, Caroline. The first date I had with Alan, I couldn't believe he asked me out. I was so excited to go out with him. And he invited me to his hotel room. Yeah. At the Miyako Hotel. Japanese suite. Japanese suite in San Francisco. I, I depicted this whole thing in my Broadway musical. And I knocked on the door, and I, at that time I wore big high platform shoes. Remember, we were wearing those in the 70s to look taller, and I had white, long, bell-bottom pants. And they, you'd have them tailored, so they hit the floor the height of your shoes. So I knock on the door, and Alan opens the door and says, hello there. And he said, it's a Japanese suite. You have to take off your shoes in a Japanese suite. And I said... What else do you have to take off? <laughs> and that's how our evening started. Yeah. <laughs> and then... She wouldn't leave me alone. She, and then she wouldn't. I walk in, and there's no bed. I'm glad about that. Well, it's a, a, a tatami mat. It's a tatami mat on the floor. And I'm thinking, oh, gosh. Okay, I'm all in. Whatever this night's going to be... No matter what my mother says to me, I'm, I'm all in tonight. Oh, did she give you the, the cow story? Why get the cow? The milk, Why buy the cow when you get, get the, the milk, milk free? free. I, yes, yeah. of course I got that. And um, so he asked me to sit down on his tatami mat. And then he proceeds to open this white butcher pl uh, paper. He had gone to Fisherman's Wharf and he got crack crab. And he lays the crack crab out all over. And then he hands me dessert. And I thought, how weird to have dessert before we have the crab. So I took a bite of this brownie and I said, yeah, it tastes like dirt. And he said, oh, it's a pot brownie. It was the 60s <laughs> and it was San Francisco and it was haight I had never met anyone like okay. you. I'd been dating like the few guys. I only dated like five guys before you. Well, actually, I was the first guy in San Francisco to wear bell bottoms. I'd never pants. seen bell bottoms. And I remember you said, what? what, what is it? I had never seen bell bottoms yeah. on a man. On a man. I'd, I'd seen them on myself, but not on a man. But anyway. Um, I was a hippie. I was. Oh, actually, a woman just said, "Blue cow." Her name was Blue Cow. She said, "Hit the L." I was a hippie. <laughs> right, you were. And I, I, so I, I'm all in. I, I took a bite or two or maybe more. I don't know. I don't. You don't remember of this pot brownie, and then everything he said was so <laughs> funny, and I was funny, and we we're laughing and laughing and laughing. It was a great date. Yeah. I think you had such a good time that first night that you guys just decided to repeat that for the next 40, 50 years. It seems to be a formula for you. It is. We're not eating brownies anymore, but... Yeah. No judgment. <laughs> mm. Brownies are legal here in California. Yeah. So you can eat as many brownies as you want. There's a store down the street called The Leaf where you can buy anything you want. Um, I never go in there. I do not want my picture taken there. Anyway, but you know what? Like premarital sex, there is no longer any shame about brownies. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. So no. You can you can let go of those old stories, Suzanne. That's the uh, 
No, in those days, in, in those it, yeah, in those days, people were people were doing acid. I never did acid. I didn't either. I saw you too many what? people you get and crazy. I never did any other drugs? I'm glad. No. No, Haight Ashbury was in its glory at that time. Turn Lee Brenda, you're right. And I took Suzanne to Haight and to. Uh, from someone? About Haight Ashbury? What was the. Uh, I used to show that oh. rock and roll oh, place. Where, uh, yeah, what was it called? Um, the Fillmore West. Fillmore West. Yeah. yeah. So Suzanne walks in wearing a. My best dress. Her best dress with Gray matching. And white coat dress. Ma matching, matching shoes and a purse. <laughs> And everybody in there, you know, was laying on the floor stoned and, you know, wearing, you know, whatever they were wearing. And uh, we saw, uh, what's his name? Tony uh, Joe White. Paul Tony Saturday. Joe White. And then um, uh, uh, the major girl, the screams. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what's her name? Yeah. What is her name? Yeah. She had too much fun. Yeah, yeah I can't remember her name. name. Anyway. Uh, that's when I looked around and I thought, I'm going to hip up my wardrobe. So I bought myself a pair of bell bottom jeans and a paisley uh, flower child top, and I parted my hair in the middle and I got with it. You know, like Caroline, the, what were you going to say? You just have some, you have some friends who came in late and they're asking. I was just going to say this. the products in front of camera because they, they're, you know, people come in and out of these shows for the full hour. So I'm going like, to. Caroline, explain the box and, and what you get. But I'm going to tell you what's in this box, and then she'll tell you the whole amazing thing. Is the volumizing um, uh, wild, wild, wild orange mint. We have different flavors. Wild orange mint shampoo. Volumizing shampoo. Vol volumizing. Volumizing conditioner in the same scent. Um, volumizing hair elixir, which supports healthy hair growth. And then the finishing gloss to take away flyaways. Incredible stuff. Tell them, tell them what they get. Johnny? They will. And Alan, while I'm talking about that, can you put the products in front of camera? Absolutely. Um, okay, so let's put the volumizing shampoo the up there first. To you for, so that there's a little more room. Um, so, Suzanne Selects, it's Suzanne's subscription box. So, you order this, you sign up for the program, and you'll receive it every month, or you can receive it every other month or every two months. It's up to you. It's always going to be $49.99. And every time you receive it, there'll be something new inside. It's There's a new surprise inside every month. This month, you have the four hair products. So, you have eight ounces of the volumizing shampoo in this fabulous scent. It's wild orange mint. It's very fresh and delicious. And um, then you have the volumizing conditioner, which Alan is showing you, and then the hair elixir, which helps with helps promote healthy hair growth. And also a styling product, which is the finishing gloss that makes your hair so shiny and silky. Without so making it greasy. Not greasy. I'm yeah. just use too much. Um, yeah. So One, what you want to do is sign up for this at SuzanneSummers.com. It's called Suzanne Selects. And then you can manage your account. You can pause it if you want to. You can cancel it really easily. And if you're someone who's not technically savvy, just email customer service or use our telephone number and you can call customer service at business hours. We try to make it super simple for you. And that cute box that Suzanne is holding, that's how it gets mailed to you. We put your address right on the front, and it gets mailed to you, and you open it up, and it's all cute and yellow inside. And it's and a present. Tissue paper. It's a present. I know you're paying for it yourself, but it's your present. And women love getting presents, don't you? I do. I love when a box comes in the mail. I go, yippee. I do. And I think, I paid for it, but I don't care. I'm just glad. I'm yeah, glad. Yeah, paid retail for this. For instance, this would cost almost one hundred forty-five dollars right. if you bought the products. Can you give? Can you, you give? The shampoo and conditioner are thirty-four ninety-nine each. You've got the um, the hair elixir that's thirty-nine ninety-nine, and then you have the uh, finishing gloss, which is also thirty-four ninety-nine. So it's really a huge discount. It's sixty-five percent off. So that's why people. Once you learn about Suzanne Selects, if you love organic products and you like certified toxic free and you care about what you put on your skin or on your hair or your body, people really, they get into it because it's such a good deal. Or it's, you have tequila. And it's tequila it. time. And screw it. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I remember when I, I think it was 
Uh, in mid to late 70s, when catalogs started. Remember catalogs? There aren't so many catalogs now because you do everything online. But a catalog would come to your house and you could go, I'd like that, and then you put in your credit card and they'd send you a gift and it was fun. And that's when I realized, oh wow, it's fun to get a present in the mail. So this is your present in the mail. I know you pay for it yourself, but a huge discount and um, and stuff you need. You need great shampoo. I, for those of you who were here earlier, bear with me, but my, these shampoos and hair care started one day when I was in the shower, when I was using the most expensive shampoos and conditioners you could get, $75 a bottle on some of them, and I'm in the steam and my pores are open, I'm about to, my hair's wet, I'm about to put shampoo on, and I thought, wow, all my pores are open, my brain's right here, and I'm putting on shampoo with all these chemicals in it. I'm actually pouring the chemicals into my brain, and that's when I said, we've got to do hair care. And this took many, many, many incarnations to come up with shampoo and conditioner that's organic, that is superior to anything chemical I've ever used. And I swear, I only use this. One day I'll just do a little video of my shower and a Valen shower, and you see, all we have are these products here. Excuse me, we're going to do a video of our shower? Yeah, you're going to have to clean yours. Oh, you mean actually show the shower? The you're not, shower. Not, you're not you're in the shower. Oh, okay. Although you look great in the shower. You I, the I wouldn't have a problem. I wouldn't have a problem All with right, that. All right, you want to see him in the shower? You I wouldn't have a problem. Underpants. Yeah, uh, not my underpants. No, I don't okay. have to have anything on. I don't believe you, but we'll, we'll see. You don't believe me? I don't believe you. How much do you want to bet? I'm not betting. I'm never betting with you because you always... <laughs> I lose every bet. But you're shy. You would never be naked. I, I wouldn't have a problem with that because the people so who would weird. see it are our friends. Okay? <laughs> I, I wouldn't have a problem with that at all. Okay? So, you try me. You look beautiful naked. I love your naked body. Thank you. It's beautiful. Wow. Well. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. Love is grand. Yeah. He doesn't have, like, there's an... A guy who I used to do his television show all the time, and he was probably the age Alan is now. And he, he liked to come out after the show taking his shirt off and standing there. And he looked 85 or 86 years old, and he looked great. But he looked, you know, he looked it. Alan doesn't have any of it. Your back is so beautiful. You don't have those drapey things. Why? Okay. Why? Well, a couple people, uh, one of our friends on Facebook, Mary Strepa, said, Horniest 85-year-old on the <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, we, have, we have a couple friends who are saying they have not yet received the February box. Oh. Here's what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, you're, we initiate the order on whatever the day is that you have joined Suzanne Select. So let's say you ordered on the 20th of the month. That's when we start the process. That's when we put the order in for the next month. So let's, if you order January 20th, the February box, we're not going to even start the process until February 20th. So that's like the warehouse receiving the order. Then they've got to, you know, go through their process and put it all together for you and get it shipped out to you. So that's why you might not receive it until March. Are we having any... Someone who wants to get your box earlier in the month, you need to ask to change the delivery date. So because what that means is you ordered February 20th. We wouldn't hit your card for 30 days, but if you want us to, we'll order it right now for you, and then today would be March 2nd would be the day of your order, and then you'd always initiate that order on the 2nd. Does that make sense? What she said. What did she say? I don't know. Neither do I. I tuned out. It's how you get your box. If yeah. you want to get your box earlier, change your ship date. Do we have if you want some... earlier in the month, change your ship date. Do we have supply chain issues? Um, on some things, but not... I mean, we're I'm noticing well, uh, with things that I order. Do we have blockchain issues? You're learning all no about supply that. Supply chain. I, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing a lot of things I order aren't coming as quickly as they used to come. Are you noticing that at home? And like I order books all the time. I'm like I'm a book fanatic, and sometimes it takes from Amazon like three weeks, a month. There's one book I've ordered two or three times. It still isn't here. So. Anyway. Yeah, so Sarah, there, are, there are a lot of delays out there. Your, yeah. uh, the Christmas present that I got for Suzanne has still not arrived. Um, yeah, but we know it's good. Be worth it. You know what shows up. You know what's good 
it probably uh, won't arrive until September, and that's when I'll really need them. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> so Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Jokeson says, Suzanne, please do a shower live. That would be so funny. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> after you, Sharon. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah. Sarah, after Sarah. you, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? Ladies, okay? Oh, this is going to be bad. Ladies, I'm just going to tell you ladies. Okay? He's got his rascal hand Do up. a no. video of yourself no, no. taking a shower. No. Okay. Don't, Al, no. And then we'll we'll put everything no, up. Al. We'll put everything up so everybody can see no, it. I, and then it'll, we'll have a contest. Don't, 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 we'll have a contest. Don't, okay. Don't. This is and we'll decide, rascal, Al, don't, don't. we'll decide who did the best video. Yeah. Not who has the don't, best body. Don't, don't. Who did He's the best you video. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> don't do it. And then we'll put together like a whole batch basket of all your products. I feel protected of them to not do what he is urging you to do. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, uh, two people said that Bruce looks like Al. My Bruce? Yeah. Caroline's Bruce? Yeah. Well, he kind of got a similar laugh. You don't look anything like Al. Well, he's been copying me all his life, okay? <laughs> he loves you. By the way, we're, I, I love him too. Took a while. Yeah, took a while. For both of you. So we're having dinner tonight with two dear friends, Lisa and Stephen. They're probably yeah. They're watching. Yeah, Lisa <coughs> Gibbons. You all know Lisa Gibbons. Lisa Gibbons. I've known her for at least 30 years. She used to have a great talk show that I debuted a lot of my books on. She always was so focused and so interested. She said, She's a great lady. She's a really great lady. So, so Terra Nova her. said, I think Suzanne just gave Elle the old stinky eye. Thank you. Stinky eye. Thank you. You saw it, didn't you? Okay. That was the stop, Al. Okay, well, you're going to see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you do a video of me taking a shower. Fine. You don't think I'm going to do it, do I you? Know. I'm going to do it. I, I think this is Al lying. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, he's not. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? No, I'm not. Okay? We'll see. We'll see. I'm thinking about GERD today. About what? GERD. GERD? Gastro, uh, you know, burping, farting, all that stuff. Oh, really? There's so much to write about the gut. Once I get going on the subject, I, it just it keeps me up at night. That's all I have to say tonight. I am sleeping. I am sleeping. I think we, do, I think we know... We met someone recently whose last name is Gerd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, we met somebody whose father has Gerd. No. A lot of people have Gerd. No, her last name. Yes, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah. It wasn't Gerd. No. No, her name That's was. That's your auntie Gerdy. It was Hurd. Oh. Her, it was Hurd. Oh yeah. 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 Gerd, Hurd. Yeah. Let's call the whole thing off. Let's call the whole thing off. So, there are probably a lot of people celebrating birthdays today, mm -hmm. and they really love having you sing happy birthday to them. Is it anybody's birthday? Of course it Correct is. Correct me right now. Tell me it's your birthday. I'll put your name in. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Did you have Anita listen to her birthday song? She did. She went on and listened to it. Okay. All okay. Right. So nice. All right. I'm looking. I'm waiting. Yeah. I'm waiting. Oh, so if it's your birthday today. Suzanne will sing happy yes, birthday to you. You know, there's that place that you call in and you pay money and you get a celebrity to sing She's happy birthday. Some interesting information about our shampoo and conditioner. It's color safe. Like, won't screw with your color. Okay. Yeah, if you dye your hair, and it's expensive to get your hair colored, you don't want to use a shampoo that's going to go in and strip all the natural color. Um, I mean, all the color that you just have done. So you need to use a color safe shampoo, and of course, Suzanne's. Um, oh, look, we have a birthday, Raya. Who? Raya. Okay, Raya. here we go. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Raya. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Wow. And they have, you know, that's that's a freebie. Okay, they have that place where you yeah, go. Yeah, you use it wherever you want. Where you, where you go and you pay big money right. and you get a celebrity right. to sing Happy Birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I love people coming up with novel ways to create businesses. Pardon me, Caroline. I said unbelievably the 
shower is already up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're going to take me out for dinner tonight. I had such a yep. good time with all of you. I love this hour with you. Yep, me I hope too. you love it with us as much as we love it with you. It doesn't feel like work to me. It's like and also, a step for you. And you know, unlike doing a network TV show, where you've got people standing over you from the standards and practices department saying certain things you can't say. We can say anything. I know. You know what song's going um, through my head? Really, that we still follow all the, the FDA and FTC. Of course. We don't. No, no, we know the FDA, but we don't, we don't get into that. There's a lot going on in the world right now. We all know what's going on in the world in Ukraine and everything. I was thinking about how lucky we are to live in this country. So I'd like to close with this song tonight. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the oceans to the prairies, to the, no, mountains, to the, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my, makes me cry, home, sweet home. Good night, everybody. Remember, it's not who you are. It's not what you do. It's not what you have at all. It's only about who you love and who loves you, and I love you. Good night, everybody.